Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does the financing of national political campaigns affect the election process? Imagine you're at a big event where everyone is trying to get your attention, but some people have much louder voices than others. This is somewhat like what happens in national political campaigns when it comes to financing. The way campaigns are funded can significantly impact the election process. In the United States, campaigns are largely funded by private donations, which can come from individuals, political action committees, PACs, and even super PACs. These super PACs can spend unlimited amounts of money to influence elections, but they can't directly contribute to or coordinate with the campaigns themselves, three, four, five. This system can lead to a situation where candidates who have more financial backing have a greater advantage. They can spend more on advertising, rallies, and other campaign activities, which helps them reach more voters and build their name recognition. For example, in the 2020 presidential election, nearly $14 billion was spent on federal election campaigns, making it the most expensive campaign in U.S. history for. Public financing is another way campaigns can be funded, especially for presidential elections. Candidates can receive federal government funds to cover campaign expenses, but they have to meet certain criteria. For instance, to qualify for primary matching funds, a presidential candidate must raise over $5,000 in each of at least 20 states. In the general election, major party nominees can receive a grant to cover their campaign expenses, but they must agree not to accept any private contributions, too. This public financing system aims to level the playing field by providing candidates with an alternative to relying solely on private donations. However, many major party candidates opt out of public funding because it comes with strict spending limits, which can limit their ability to compete against candidates who choose to raise unlimited private funds. Five. The influence of big donors and special interests is a significant concern. When candidates rely heavily on donations from a few wealthy individuals or groups, they may become more responsive to these donors rather than their constituents. This can lead to a perception that the voices of ordinary Americans are being drowned out by the louder voices of big money for. In addition, the role of PACs and super PACs in campaign finance has been shaped by Supreme Court decisions such as Citizens United v. FEC, which allowed corporations and labor unions to spend unlimited amounts on independent expenditures for political communications. Four. Overall, the financing of national political campaigns can greatly affect who gets heard, who gets elected, and how responsive elected officials are to their constituents. It's a complex system with both private and public funding options, each with its own set of rules and implications. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.